This video is part of a series of video instructions on the BioGrace Greenhouse Gas Calculation Tool. This is instruction 1.4, Navigating through the BioGrace Excel Tool. The BioGrace Greenhouse Gas Calculation Tool is an Excel-based tool for the calculation of life cycle greenhouse gas emissions from the production of bioenergy. Actually, there are two BioGrace tools. There's BioGrace 1 for biofuels and BioGrace 2 for electricity, heat and cooling from biomass. This video instruction is about BioGrace 2. You can open the Excel tool from the zip file on the website. This was part of a previous video instruction. After opening the tool, you click on this button to continue. Then, this pop-up occurs which informs you about the use of the help functions within the tool and how to hide them or make them visible. After closing the pop-up, you find the directory sheet. Here you see that the tool contains several sheets. First of all, there is a sheet about, giving some background to the Excel tool. Next, there are several sheets containing the greenhouse gas calculations one sheet per combination of biofuel and feedstock. So for instance, there is a sheet for wood chips from forest residues, one for wood briquettes or pellets from short rotation coppers of poplar, and one for biogas from maize. Also, there are a number of sheets of more general nature, like for instance, a sheet for calculating land use change a sheet for calculating improved agricultural management and sheets for calculating greenhouse gas emissions associated with N2O emissions from the field. Finally, there are also sheets with standard values and there is a sheet called user-specific calculations. We will come back to these sheets in separate parts of this series of video instructions. In this part, we will concentrate on one of the calculation sheets. Let's open a calculation sheet. For instance, wood briquettes or pellets from short rotation coppers of poplar. Again, we see an information box. The calculation tool can be used for different purposes. This information box indicates that when you want to make actual calculations on greenhouse gas emission reduction, you have to fill in the general settings down here. By leaving the general settings empty, as occurs when I click the close button here, the tool can be used for information purposes on how the default values were calculated. Let's go back to the calculation sheet. When you see such a sheet for the first time, you might find that the amount of information is overwhelming. I will guide you through all the information and within a few minutes you will be familiar with the tool. Basically, there are three separate parts to the tool. A part on top, where you will find all results, somewhat lower, a part where you enter the general settings, and below that, from this row down, a part where all the detailed calculations are made. Let's first concentrate on the part on the top. In the title row you see which pathway we are working with. In this case, production of energy from wood pellets or briquettes from poplar short rotation coppers. Then, in this result box, you will find all the separate steps of this pathway. They are clustered into cultivation, processing, transport and emissions from the fuel in use. You can understand that the first step is cultivation of poplar, then transport of wood chips, then processing into pellets or briquettes, transport of pellets and finally conversion of the pellets. In column C, you'll find the non-allocated values and in column D, the allocated values. 
allocation is done when co-products are formed. In that case, part of the greenhouse gas emissions to the point where the co-product is formed is allocated to the co-product. More details on allocation can be found in calculation rules. In practice, there are only a few pathways in the Biogris 2 tool in which co-products are formed, and therefore, in most pathways, the allocation towards the energy carrier is 100%. Let's go back now to the results box. In column D, the final results are listed, expressed in gram CO2 equivalent per megajoule of the wood pellets produced. They can be compared with the GRC default values in column G. The Biograce tool serves two functions. First, the tool allows you to make actual calculations. In the second place, it allows the user to understand how the default values from the GRC report were calculated, as the calculations that you find when opening the tool exactly follow the calculations that lead to the default values. The GRC report came together with a staff working document. On the About page of the tool, you can find references to these two documents. In column E, you will find four boxes with an A. These four small boxes allow to use disaggregated default values, as is explained in a separate video instruction. In the second part of the calculation sheet, the general settings, further specific information can be given. In order to calculate a percentage emission reduction, specific information should be given by selecting the end use. For instance, electricity, here. And adding the thermal efficiencies. Example given 35% here. The final emission value in cell D20 here is used together with the given conversion efficiency of 35% here and the fossil fuel reference, this value here in case of electricity, giving a result of percentage emission reduction here. The general settings section does also allow making specific configurations for the pathway. Here you can choose whether the poplar cultivation was fertilized or not. This is quite specific for the pathway on short rotation coppers with poplar. The other two choices are more general. In the first place, you can choose several types of boilers or CHPs that are used to produce heat and sometimes electricity in the pellet mill. With this drop-down list, you can use, for instance, a combined heat and power plant on wood chips. Secondly, you can choose several transport distances. If I make such a choice, both the calculation results as well as the disaggregated default values will be updated. Look at these values here when I change the transport distance, like this. As you can see, each change is marked by a yellow colored cell surrounded by a red box. This is due to the track changes button in this section here. This button allows to change between the four compliance and the four testing version. If I make a change in the tool with track changes turned to on like I did before, then it will be marked. If I turn track changes to off, then a change will no longer be marked. There is a separate video instruction with details on track changes and the for compliance versus the for testing version. In the third and lower part of the tool, below here, you will find all the separate calculations. Scrolling down, we find all the steps in this biofuel production pathway. The cultivation of poplar, transport of wood chips, pellet or briquette production, etc. 
This lower part is used to make actual calculations. You will typically replace the values in the cells with white background and red numbers. You should note that certain rules apply that can be found in the Biograce 2 calculation rules. One such rule is that when you replace one input value by an actual value, for example in a cultivation, then you must replace all the input values in the cultivation by actual values. In column I, J, K and L, all results are expressed by megajoule of the final fuel. This needs information from the whole fuel production pathway. For example, the results of the cultivation can only be expressed by megajoule of wood pellets if, for instance, the efficiency of wood pellet production is known. Sometimes a user wants to have information that is independent of later steps, and for this reason, one or two columns for information are added, in which the results are expressed per kilogram and sometimes also per hectare and per year. In columns Q until T, some boxes are added to give assistance with unit conversions. Last but not least, the tool is not protected, causing that a user can insert rows like this and can copy information with copy-paste like this. And the user can change formulas in the calculations like this. Here I have to add a small remark. In the full compliance version, the format of cells cannot be changed. 